Alright, it's Lynn here with another video on the Dell Inspron 13 5000 series laptop. Um, this is the 2016 version, so this is the newest laptop. Um, this video is a follow-up video on the review I did. I also did an unboxing, so I'll try to put annotations up here in the screen, but if not, they'll be down in the description below for the unboxing and the re review non-upgraded. Um, in this video, I'll actually be showing y'all how to tear the laptop apart and upgrade it. Um, I'm actually having to refilm this. Um, the footage got lost, so I, I'm having to do this again. So, anyway, I'll show y'all how to tear this laptop apart and then install a new uh, hard drive or SSD, whichever you're choosing. I am installing an SSD. Um, and then... Uh, I'm also installing more RAM. There are two RAM slots, so this computer can accept up to 32 gigs of RAM. So, um, if you want to put about another $300 in RAM modules into a computer that's $500, that's your choice. But, um, I'm just installing another 8 gig stick to, uh, uh, bring this laptop up to, uh, 12 gigs of RAM, which will be good for me. Um, I generally only use about 10 gigs of RAM uh, on regular everyday use without uh, any production stuff. So anyway, just going to go ahead and switch camera views and I'll get to tearing down a laptop. But first, I'll just start off with saying I do have these uh, little screwdriver set. You will need a pretty small screwdriver to get at these screws. Uh, they don't. You have to have a small screwdriver head, and it, they are Phillips head, so you will need that, just knowing that before you get there, but there are no other tools that you'll need, so I'll just go ahead and swap camera, and I'll be right back. Alright, here, the first thing you'll need to do is just flip the laptop over, and make sure you've also powered the uh, laptop off. As you can see, there are little black screws all on the laptop and you'll go ahead and need to unscrew all of these and make sure you have a little tray or somewhere to uh, put the screws um, I'm just gonna put them right over here to the side but I'd recommend getting something magnetized or just some little thing to put them in um, but I'll go ahead and speed this up Alright, now that you have all the screws out, um, you can go ahead and start by uh, pulling the cover off. I could just would generally recommend just starting at the back. It's the easiest place to get your fingernails or fingers underneath to pull apart and just kind of lift it up as such. Uh, Alright, now... To replace the uh, RAM is pretty simple. I had already, as I said, videoed this, so I had already ended up upgrading this, but uh, I'll re show y'all how to do this. So basically, you just, this will focus, line the notch up right in here, and as you can see, it lines up just like this with this black little notch right here. So if I flip it around, then the notch, as you can see, does not line up. So you flip it around and just stick it in. And then you push down and the two little clamps on each side will clamp down. So, as I said, this supports up to um, 32 gigs of RAM. So, there's two RAM slots, and you can put 16 gigs in each side of the computer. And now, to uh, replace the uh, a hard drive. Now, I have already, also, since I did do this video already, uh, replaced this with the SSD. But, I'll go ahead and show you how to take this off. There's one screw right here and then one screw right here 
So you just unscrew these and keep these separate because these are different size screws. And you just lift it up and then pull the connector off. And there are, so focus, there are four, two screws on each side of the drive that you unscrew. And uh, all you basically do is take the hard drive out of there that was in there, which it was the 500 gig WD blue drive, which I have right here. This is what comes in the drive, I mean in the computer stock. And uh, you just unscrew this on all four sides and then um, rescrew your preferred SSD or a bigger hard drive or whatever else you want to put in here. I chose to well cut my capacity in half, but I also increased battery life. I've actually been able to get about another hour or so of battery life by switching over to a SSD from what I've noticed. I haven't timed it yet, but uh, I've noticed about an extra hour or so of battery life. Um, and it's a lot snappier. And load times for booting into Windows was cut in half as well. It went from about a minute and six seconds, I believe, to uh, log in once you get into uh, Windows to just under 30 seconds, like 26 seconds or so. So now you just screw back, once you've unscrewed the uh, hard drive that's in there and replaced it with whatever you want and screwed it back in, you just screw these two little screws back in to right here and right here just as you took it apart. It's better to have a magnetized screwdriver, and a magnetized screwdriver will not hurt your electrical components, just to put that to rest. I'm not going to do a whole video on explaining that, but it will not hurt. There's more magnetization in the actual computer than there is in the little screwdriver head. So, anyway, now to put this back on, very simple. Now, just to be clear... There are little bitty lips. Let's see if this will get that in there. Alright, well anyway, there's little clips. There it goes. There's little clips right here. And there's like quite a few of these. So you just basically line this up. There's little clip holes right Let's see, I'm trying to nab it right there where the edge of that is, and you just stick the little clips in under those. So, you got to make sure you get it good and under all of them, or it won't go on right, because I did that the first time. And kind of push it down at the front first before um, pushing the uh, back back on. And now you can start just pushing all the clips back in. Now everything is back up. Well, let's just make sure all the clips are in. Uh, I think I went off camera just a second. Alright, just make sure all the clips have been properly pushed back down. And then... Screw all the little screws back in. And I will fast forward through this, but I'll be right back. Alright. <clears throat> that was that was really all it for the upgrade, but I'll switch camera views once again, and then I will conclude this video, and I'll be right back. Alright, well, this is the uh, conclusion of the video. Um, this laptop was very easy to upgrade, and um, just Dell did a good job on this. I do not know for sure... 
on if it voids your warranty or not, but I do not believe it does. But, um, anyway, um, that was the upgrade video for this laptop. I will be doing another overview, but this will be a much more in-depth overview and, uh, going over pretty much everything, little thing about the laptop and nitpicking what I do and don't like, but that'll be like probably, a good week, couple weeks away or something. I really want to use this laptop enough to uh, get to know it and get to know what I do and don't like. Um, but anyway, uh, just to recap, uh, that this does improve battery life by what I have used by about an hour or so by upgrading to an SSD. Depending on the SSD you get, some are more power hungry, some are not, but uh, this is a Kingston uh, V300 SSD. It's a little bit older. I got it like a year ago and I replaced uh, my main computer. Well, I replaced it on my main computer that y'all see in the background sometime with a uh, ADATA uh, SP550 SSD. So I went from 240 to 480 on my main computer and four, four, I mean 240 is really enough for pretty much anything on a laptop. I'm not going to really be doing really video editing, but I will try that in the review video. Um, so just stay tuned. I will try to edit, and I will do really pretty good per, uh, performance um, numbers on it in terms of actual real time and letting y'all see what the difference is. But uh, anyway, um, you do gain about an hour switching to an SSD. And, uh, boot time was also very much improved. It went from about a, uh, an one minute and about six seconds to, uh, about 26 seconds. So, anyway, that is the, uh, upgrade video of upgrading an SSD and a, uh, and RAM. Well, adding more RAM to the Dell Inspiron 13 5000 series laptop. Um, 2016 edition so stay tuned for more content um coming like the video if you liked it dislike it if you dislike it if you have any questions or comments or just want to say something go ahead and hit me up in the comments below and i'll catch you on the next video have a nice day